Find the determinant of the 4x4 matrix 1, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 4, 2, 5. So we want to find the determinant of this 4x4 matrix. The first thing to do is to pick a row or a column to expand along. I'm going to pick row number 2 since it has three zeros in it. And the more zeros in a row or column, the less work we're going to have to do. Using this expansion, we know that we're going to have 0 times some 3 by 3 block of numbers. And then we're going to have another 0 times some 3 by 3 block of numbers. And then a 2 times some 3 by 3 block of numbers. And finally, a 0 times some 3 by 3 block of numbers. And the 3 by 3 block of numbers we're going to get will be found by crossing off rows and columns. Now, actually, I don't care what this block is, or this block, or this block, since they involve 0. The only one I care about is the one I get by crossing off the row and the column that contains the element 2. And that will get me the subblock 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 4, 5. If I go back to the checkerboard mnemonic, starting with a plus in the corner, I have a minus, plus, minus, plus. Which means that the first zero would have been negative, then I would have added the next, subtracted the third term, and added the fourth. And so cleaning this up, we find our original determinant is equal to negative 2 times the determinant of 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 4, 5. And now we can focus on a smaller 3 by 3 determinant problem. For this smaller determinant problem, let's expand along the first row. Since this row has two zeros, we'll find, remembering that there's a negative 2 in front of everything we are doing right now, that we'd have 1 times a 2 by 2 block of numbers, and then a 0 times a 2 by 2 block of numbers, and then a 0 times a 2 by 2 block of numbers. Using the checkerboard mnemonic of plus minus plus, we'd see that we'd be adding the first term, subtracting the second, and adding the third. And if we cross off the row and column that contains the element 1, we would get the submatrix 2, 1, 4, 5. And the other two submatrices I don't care about, since they both have zeros. So cleaning up our work again, we see we have negative 2 times positive 1 times the determinant of 2, 1, 4, 5. So let's see, these two together are negative 2, and this determinant would be 10 minus 4. So we're going to have negative 2 times 6 for a grand total of negative 12. The determinant of this 4 by 4 matrix is negative 12.